Welcome back to this League of Legends Let's Play. You're with Sambo and joining us as always is Screaming Donkey aka Tallahassee from our Rift series. How are you this evening my friend? I'm alright. Um, I'm just waiting to see how this is going to go. This can go one of two ways. <laughs> Good or bad I'm guessing? Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping because Crow is here um, it'll go well. <laughs> but I'm, then I noticed that you're here. So, oh, you're yeah. such a charmer. It's I am the Yang to Acrosius's Ying, and of course, welcome to Crow. Uh, you guys at home who are also viewers of our Rift Let's Play will recognise Crow uh, from a number of our videos over there. Of course, he's a member of the wonderful Seraphim Guild over on the Alethus server on Rift, and again, he joins us in this game playing the new Monkey. Dude, I don't know what his class is, but uh, monkey something from memory. Wukong. Uh, Wukong. Can't remember what his skills are. Seems to be, I think, it's kind of drunken monkey type thing. In fact, it's funny. Remember Tallahassee when we had a quick look at Heroes of New Earth? They also had a monkey character over there. So they certainly seem to ape everything that League of Legends do. Very interesting. But uh, there you go. And, of course, we've got everyone want my Clark playing Ash and Kid Crazy 190 playing the Arg Pirate gang planks this shall indeed be an interesting match i've never played this particular one i'm playing mundo and you can see here i've got a number of abilities i've got a cleaver that i can hurl i've got a uh what is it burning agony and he deals 40 magic damage to nearby enemies and reduces the duration of crowd control effects by 15 percent very handy of course stuns being one of the nasties in this game we've got another one here masochism increases attack damage by 40 for five seconds and i also gain an additional four attack damage for each percentage of health i'm missing and my super ability here quite crazy sadism uh, i regenerate 40 percent of my maximum health over 12 seconds so uh, that's quite interesting let's put points into this infected cleaver hurl here and of course we'll go grab ourselves something from the shop able to move the shop window now which is the first there we go get ourselves a nice little shield here which gives ourselves 120 health plus 10 armor and plus 8 health regen per five seconds nice start to the shop looks like screaming donkeys doing the usual trick here going up to the top lane we shall do the same thing as our frame rate took Took a bit of a hit there, not sure what's going on there, not sure if that's lag or whether Vista is going crazy, but yeah, that's a bit weird. Getting good old one frame per second at the moment, Tallahassee. How's, is your frame rate okay, or is it just me? Minions have spawned. Looks like it might just be me. There we go, settled down a bit now. Right, you can see there he's in the a weird looking character. He is a very weird not... looking character. I'm I'm some kind go. of I think I'm some kind of Frankenstein creation or something, not sure. And your tongue is hanging out. Is it? Really? Yep. Alright, for some reason we're getting weird lag spikes here, but we'll just keep going. We'll push through. That is really bad. Three frames per second stunned. I'm going to blame the jitters there for that one. Not sure what's going on, to be honest. Tallahassee, how's your frame rate? Is it okay? Is it, this is a server thing, or is it just me? My frame rate's fine. Alright, weird. Weirdness going on. Alright, fortunately this guy seems to have a lot of health. So I'm quite happy about that. Possibly way better suited for me. Of course, I'm terrible at this game still. Need all the health I can get. Here we go. Our new ability opened up here. Burning Agony. And it looks like... Oh, stunned. Yikes. Run, 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 run. And I'm going to use my cleanse ability there to hopefully get rid of those stuns. I chose a couple of different spells this time. I'm going to recall back as well. Chose a heal just because I figure it would be handy. And this cleanse here, which of course removes all stuns, slows, taunts, fears, snares, sleeps and silences. All sorts of things there, which of course is going to be very handy seeing as they're the things that generally tend to kill me. 
Let's see if they can save our rear this time. Have we got enough money? Uh, it doesn't look like it can't buy anything at the moment, so let's head back up to the top lane. Let's go down the bottom now. See what Croesus is up to on his monkey magic dude down the bottom there. You can see he's toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Shenbot there, trying to push for that particular turret with his minions. As our frame rate takes a big hit again, really wish I could uh, figure out what on earth is going on here. It's probably Vista playing up once more. Who knows? If it carries on, I folks... I we're going to change your PC up to Windows 7 at some stage. We really do have to do that. I think you're going to have to come over and force force feed it to me or else it's never going to happen. There you go. You can see it's settled down again. Oh, and it's off again. It seems to have a mind of its own, this computer. I honestly don't know what's going on. Of course, it makes it very hard to play this game, that's for sure. If it carries on much further, uh, folks... Move back. Oops, I'm trying, move, but I've got... Move, uh, move, it's, move, yeah, no, nah, it's my... Move frame rate or unfortunately not. and you'll see now you'll see on the replay there I had no choice I might uh, we'll pause the video for a moment folks as the game carries on see if we can fix it up we'll be right back and we're back folks no idea what was going on there and you can see the frame rate is back to normal still can't buy anything in the shop so let's head on up the top lane there see if we can help out Screaming Donkey, you can see he's actually got Tarek Bot, the good old Tarek Bot. Seems to me that the enemy AI seem to uh, have the same bots over and over again. See the Tarek or Ash, and uh, you can see down the bottom here we've got Shen Bot. He always seems to be part of it. You can see having a good old go at Croesus and Kid Crazy down the bottom there, doing crazy amounts of damage, but they uh, seem to be holding the fort. Annie Bot is another one that seems to come up a lot. Everyone want my Clark. Actually not doing too bad holding in the middle lane there. Not sure, have we made a push yet? No, the turrets are still up. Let's see if we can help out Screaming Donkey up the top here. And I'm going to enable this thing here. This seems to be quite good. Burning Agony, dealing um, 40 magic damage to nearby enemy enemies and reducing the duration of crowd control effects on myself. Got a new one here now. Masochism increases damage by 44 5 seconds. That could be nice and handy. A nice burn, burn down skill there. And of course, trying to remember not to. Whoa, and slowed again. Got no excuse of frame rate this time, and that was terrible. Dear, oh dear, can't blame a poor frame rate on that one. You can see Screaming Donkey got himself out of trouble. I did not. So paid the ultimate price there. Everyone want my Clark nearly burning down any bot in the middle. Making good progress down there. Let's pop down, have a look at Croesus and Kid Crazy. All right, and we're back. There we are. Croesus either just recalled or did take a hit there. I didn't quite see. Anyway, there we go. Plus 24 magic resistance. We'll take that. That's for sure. And head back up to the top lane. See if we can give Screaming Donkey a hand. Let's see how he's going up here. Oh, not doing too bad. He's got Tarek and Ash on his tail, but he's still got over half health. Doing well there, my friend. Very well. Yeah. Sort of. So you're obviously playing a very defensive game this time. I can see you running back from the two of them there, getting behind the minion line. Good strategy, of course. As we come up the rear... It looks like this Burning Agony, it actually costs 20 health per second. So that's definitely something that I didn't check before. Ah! Uh, so that would, of course, have contributed to my untimely demise. Definitely got to be careful with a lot of these buffs, these self-buffs. Buffs, they quite often have quite high cost. If it's not mana, in this case you can see it's actually my very own health, which I did not realise. And some crazy sound effects going on there too as I invoke my ability. That's quite a good ability I've got there too. Increasing attack damage by 55 for 5 seconds. Just a nice burst of plus attack. And look at that, we've destroyed a turret. No doubt that was down the bottom there. Kid Crazy and Croesus. Well done, guys. Making a big dent there, of course. Oops, and the turret appears to be on me for some reason. Nasty business there. And it unfortunately, got my heel on cooldown. Let's see if we can go in and take out the turret. Will it actually target us? As long as we got mobs here, we're fine. 
Eek! Trying to get behind the minion line. And of course you can see the heal is still way off cooldown. So unfortunately not much I can do to help the two of us. And look at that, I get a frame frame rate glitch and of course when my frame rate comes back I am face planted on the ground. No good there. You can see Croesus coming up hopefully to come and support us now on the top lane. I'm only level 4. We got Tallahassee already on level 8. Croesus on level 7. The other guys on level 8 and 7 respectively. Right, let's buy ourselves a pair of shoes here. Give ourselves some enhanced movement speed. And of course, you know that as we play more and more of this game, we can see that uh, being able to move around the field effectively is one big advantage that you want to take early on. Especially, I'm uh, liking this cleanse ability that we've got, which means when we're stunned or slowed or anything like that, we are able to get out of it. Especially with bots like Tarek floating around who can not only heal, but of course seem to have an endless supply of stuns and slows. Nasty business indeed. And you can see there, stunned straight away, silenced by Tarek, who then goes ahead and heals himself. Nasty stuff. Yeah, I hate that ability. Yep, definitely. He's, he's one nasty, tough character. Of course, I did play Tarek in one of our earlier matches, and of course still was rubbish at it, so yeah. Yeah, not surprised. Not surprised, he says. Here we go, I can now regenerate my health. That is a great ability. Look at that. Regens my health and gain 15% movement speed. That is a brilliant superpower. I'm loving that one. Here we go, taking it to the turret. Let's put up this buff, which yes, will eat into my health, but will just help us chip away at this turret. And there we go. Croesus uh, landing the killing blow there. Finally making process uh, progress rather as we push down this top lane. And here is our good old mate Tarek. Tarek. Trying to get out of that slowed. See if I can cleanse myself. And managed to get out of it, thank goodness. My heal will be up in a few seconds, so I'll probably wait around for that. You can see Croesus taking the option to recall back. Actually, that was probably a good move, and yeah, you can see it was a fantastic move because I got killed one second later. Very nasty there. Screaming Donkey coming up the uh, top lane there. Let's have a look at everyone want my Clark in the middle. You can see he's slowly chipping away at that turret. It's down to about a quarter health. Good effort down there, down the bottom. And Kid Crazy also taking out a turret on the bottom. So it looks like we're finally making some process uh, progress. Let's see, can I take these treads? Yes, I can. All right, that means we can start working on some new gear. Very nice. Now, excuse me, folks. You'll probably remember from the last episode, just got back from Sydney, managed to catch myself a cold. Basically got myself exhausted and of course the change in temperature and all the rest of it uh, managed in getting myself run down and that is why I sound like rubbish so my apologies for that. All the sniffling and sniveling and of course if I was Tallahassee I'd be sucking on a big whiskey now I'd imagine. Actually you haven't had a cold or a snivel for a while after your bout of them. What's your what's the secret to you stemming them off these days mate? Whiskey? Not going to Sydney. Not going to Sydney, thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, I wish I was able to say the same thing. Some crazy sound effects going on there. I'm going to get the heck out of there. Heal us all up. Use it while I've got it. Whoa, nasty. Shenbot there making a charge on us. Didn't actually do too much damage, but did slow us right down. And you can see there, both of their champions making a beeline for us, but we did manage to get rid of them, so good work there. And wasn't able to run away fast enough. You can see it's taken a heavy toll. Even Croesus and Screaming Donkey, both of them there, very low on health. So they're certainly making a push up the top. They've noticed 
that, uh, oh gosh, look at that ability, I don't know what that was. They've obviously noticed that we're making a push up the top lane, so they've sent all of their forces down there. Here we go. All right, let's have a look what's going on in the middle here. Everyone want my clerks taken out the middle turret, so at least we're making progress. That's all very good. There we go. I love this ruby crystal, 180 health. We will have that. Thank you very much. And you should be able to see the big difference that these boots I'm wearing makes. You can see their plus uh, two movement speed there. <clears throat> Means I certainly scoot up the outside top lane. Makes a big, big difference. So Tallahassee, if you were to look back on all of our matches and all the champions that we've played and the ones that you own, uh, any favourites coming to the top there, coming to the surface, anything that you love playing? Um, I really like this character. I really like Caitlyn. Caitlyn's a fave. Of course, she's yeah. the she's the uh, she's got a gun, isn't she? She's she's a ranged uh, ammo does. type character. Yep, I really like it. And of course, that's the thing, folks. Everybody is going to have a different play style, and you know, a champion that works for one player may be absolutely, utterly a rubbish in the hands of another. So you've definitely got to uh, play around the field and get a feel for one that you like. And of course, that's one of the great mechanics of League of Legends in terms of them rotating through the free champions every what is it every week it appears what is it is it a weekly thing or is it a monthly thing I honestly don't know um, I think it's weekly yeah it's a great idea of course because it means that everybody gets a chance to try out champions before buying them oh and damn Annie's teddy bear hunting me down there and giving me the old face plant unfortunately you can see though that the turret is down to half health so no doubt uh, Croesus there have two. I, I'm not sure what was going on. Was I seeing things there? We had two Croesuses running around. Is that one of his abilities, I'd imagine, where he can uh, maybe have a decoy or something yeah. like that? Yeah, it's one of his abilities. Very cool. You see Screaming Donkey there in the jungle trying to get some extra XP and gold, no doubt. As we respawn back at the shop, is there anything we can buy? Yes. Oh, look at that. Another 200 health and a passive that reduces our ability cooldowns by 10%. We will absolutely have that. Thank you very much. Let's go see Screaming Donkey in the jungle, see what he's up to. Meanwhile, we'll have a look down the bottom lane here. And you can see that Kid Crazy, already level 12, I'm only on level 8, is taking it to Warwick Bot, making that push down the bottom lane there. Very good. Crozier is up the top. As our frame rate goes crazy once again, everyone I want my clerk in the middle has uh, dealt to another turret in the mid lane there, doing very well. All right, let's see if we can take down this epic monster in the middle. And there we go, nice bunch of gold for all of us. Now, Tallahassee, I see you're low on health there. My heal is up. Let me know if you want to use that. Yeah, no, I'm fine. So I'll just be hanging back. Hanging back. Safe. Hanging back in safety land. Alright, looks like we're now making a push up to the next turret in the top lane. You can see that is falling extremely fast and it is gone. Look at that, great stuff. Chasing down Ashbot, and you can see taken out amidst a flurry of poor frame rates there. Did manage to knock them down. I'm pretty sure that was Croesus landing the killing blow there. And not doing too badly here in the middle either. This turret, whoops, let's get this cleanse to action. This is a heal. Which of course spills over to Screaming Donkey, and we've got this guy on our tail. I hate this teddy bear. Blimmin' little orphan Annie and her pet, most nasty thing. And there we go, Croesus coming to the rescue. And Terracbot has decided to come in and join the fun. No doubt he's gonna take us down, or he's definitely gonna hone in on me. He seems to like me for some reason. Let's use our ability here, which of course is a self heal. 
trying to run away. We're not doing too badly. see Crow opting to, oh yep, good move there, opting to recall as this influx of champions chases us down. You can see they've sent all of their forces up the top there to meet our attack, which is of course what happened in our last episode as well, which we were victorious. Anyway, all the guys now recalling. I certainly don't need to recall at this point. That little self-heal there certainly helped out a lot. Of course, I've got Shenbot on my tail, waiting for these minions to come. There we go, get behind the minion line, which will hopefully occupy these guys. Oh, that's a shame. I was going to go one on one with Shenbot, but no, good old Tarakbot decides to make an appearance. Let's see what happens here if we go one on one. Not doing too badly, actually surviving so far. Will I take him down? This is actually looking quite good. This could be my first one-on-one -on -one champion kill. And I did it! Good lord! Alright, it's a first for everything. Unless that was actually you, Crow, behind me there doing something that I didn't know about. Maybe Crow did some kind of ranged attack. It made it look like it was me, but hey, we'll pretend it was me. Alright, Croesus on level 13, myself on level 10. Screaming Donkey on level 10 and the other guys on 14 and 15 respectively and completely one-shotted there, got suppressed. Warwick Bot just absolutely tore through me like butter, had no chance there. Screaming Donkey joining every everyone want my Clark up the middle. Going for a push there for one of the last lane turrets in the mid lane, that's a good move. And we can see Kid Crazy down the bottom there, holding his own, also trying to push for that last lane turret in the bottom. You can see now we're hopefully breaking through, having a go now at the uh, turrets on their inner circle there, which of course starts to sniff of bad news for the bots. Hopefully we'll have a repeat of our last episode. Who knows? All right, can we buy anything else there? 662. No, these are all, what's that, 700? Ooh, what's that give us? 45 armor. Sometimes I wonder if it's worth actually waiting around in the shop for these to build up, but of course, probably just losing time. Let's go up the mid now and join up with Screaming Donkey, and oh gosh, I wish that I was able to buy something to get rid of my cold from the shop. That would be really nice. Once again, apologies for the stuffed up snivels, guys. Certainly not our best work, but never mind, not much we can do. Alright, so what's going on up here? Crow and... No, everyone want my Clark and a Screaming Donkey. Obviously making a push for this uh, lane turret up here. Let's go, go there as well. Should be four of us all up joining forces. The turret possibly won't stand a chance. There we go, we can see the corpse of Little Orphan Annie there. And look at that, the turret is down indeed. All right, going for Warwick Bot there, all of us playing our part. And you can see the turret has decided to pick on me because we did touch a champion. I'm going to use my heal, heal up the lads. I'm going for Tar Tarek Bot. If I can kill him, I will be a happy man. And yes, we got him. Good stuff. It was well worth sacrificing myself then because that is a sweet revenge on Tarek, who of course has been the bane of our games for the last few episodes. You can see the actions heating up down here, screaming and Donkey having to run away with his proverbial tail between his legs. He's down to one health. Croesus activating his double ability there. I'd love to know what that is. Some kind of decoy, I'd imagine. Up the top here, we've got Kid Crazy, who's... Uh, Holding off the minions and down the bottom, it's just minion versus minion on the lower lane there. We're certainly going to try and make a push in this mid top lane. You can see the turret has fallen, so we're going to make a push for the, uh, what's it called? I was going to say the inhibitor. It is the inhibitor, that's what we're after. Plus 430 health with a belt. Yes, thank you. I will definitely buy that. Now sitting on 2,212 health, which is very healthy. You can see uh, Screaming Donkey there. Different class, 1,700 health. Good old Monkey Magic. Croesus on 1,800. Uh, 1,600 for Ash. And our Pirate on 2,100, who's clearly a tank. So certainly enjoying this one, Screaming Donkey. I'm not dying as much as normal. I guess that's because this guy is basically pretty buff don't mind at all. Could be. Definitely suits me. 
Let's have a look over here. Yep, definitely going for the inhibitor now. Let's go join in on that. Here we go. Now that we, of course, have taken down the inhibitor, we are able to spawn super minions. So, big advantage for us. Yikes, got drawn in there, got a bit cocky, let's see if we can pull out, just as well I had my speedy ability on, managed to run myself out of there without getting too much damage, screaming donkey down there, unfortunately low on health, my health restore cooldown is unfortunately not back up yet. Dead. Can we get that off? Oh yes, just managed. Look at that. Sambo and Zed has finally slain a champion. Just managed to get that butcher throw there. This ability, the infected cleaver, away as I died. And in fact, I think I was dead when the cleaver hit the champions. So that was a bit of a laugh there. Managed to get it post mortem. Not bad. Kid Crazy there taking on Warwick Bot. One on one. You can see the turrets are all down now in the enemy base. Save the ones up the top lane. Which possibly means now we're going to be making our final push, which is good news for us. You can see a heavy toll was taken there. Those screaming tonk, donkey and everyone want my Clark coming back from the dead. Let's see what we can buy. Can we buy that? No, not quite. Damn it. All right, let's buy this. Give ourselves a plus 45 armor. Every bit helps, of course. And screaming donkey, you're going up the middle lane there. You're going to try and take out some of those turrets, I, I presume? Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Another inhibitor falling there, and of course that means uh, more super minions. Let's go and have a look at the action. It's going to be very heated up the top here. You can see all the enemy champions all in the same place trying to actually kill off our super minion as it happens. So Kid Crazy and Croesus going to town there. And everyone want my Clark. We're going to join in the action very shortly. And I'd imagine that this will be the final push. And the nail, the death nail in the coffin of the bots, I'd imagine. Let's go for this final turret here, try and make a dent. And you can see its health disappearing rapidly. Screaming Donkey has left the game. Dear oh dear, he must have dropped. That's possibly why he didn't answer us before. We shall be victorious in his absence. There we go, folks. So poor old, there we go. Yep, just got a text message from Tallahassee, and unfortunately his PC froze up. So uh, in his absence, I'll say thanks to him. Definitely a big contribution to the victory of that match. And of course, same with Croesus. Good game. Um, I'd like to know how the uh, monkey guy went. Seemed to be really cool. New character to League of Legends, of course. So I'm not sure if Croesus has played that before, but certainly played it very well as always. And hey, I even got myself a kill in there at some point. So definitely liking this uh, Dr. Mundo or whatever his name is. Of course, with that huge health pool, it means that someone with my inability to play very well is somewhat protected from the attacks of the champion. So actually managing to stay toe-to-toe -to -toe and keep my own with a couple of them there. Lots of fun. So there you go, folks. Certainly hope you enjoyed that episode. Victory once again. We're on a bit of a winning streak here. Let's see if we can keep it up. Certainly hope you'll join us in the next episode. And until then, on behalf of my self a sambo and of course the absent pc frozen at tallahassee and croesus from the wonderful seraphim guild uh, in our rift let's play so i saying take care we'll see you next time and bye bye